I rented this lens out that you're looking at right now, that this, what you see right here, I rented it out for a week just to play with it, and I love it. What you're looking at right now is the Canon 35 millimeter RF macro lens. So initially, I rented this lens out just to check it out for my own, because my homie Christian Mate Grab uses it a lot, and I was like, man, it looks super sharp, I gotta see this for myself, and it's proven that. And two, it's just affordable. $499.99 and probably cheaper if you're getting it refurbished or uh, used. So clean and sharp, affordable and cheap, why not check it out just because I may buy it. So the first thing I found out is this lens is lightweight. It's super small, it's compact, and it just feels good on the camera. It's not too heavy to carry around. Like if you're going hiking or if you just wanna go out and get some B-roll while you're vlogging during your day, it's cool to have it with you, it's not, um, a hassle. If I compare it to my 35 Sigma Art, I love my Sigma Art 35 because it's just so sharp. But this one is smaller, it's lighter, and it looks just as sharp, if not a little bit more. And there's another feature as well on it. It's macro, so that means that you can get in really, really close on details, really close to a subject and capture those details, whether it be an eye and you're trying to capture um, details on an eye or just a product shot or anything. So having macro built into a nice 35 millimeter, I think not only one is a good feature because you can get a different perspectives, but two, I think it makes the lens a little bit more more sharp. So that's been one of the things that I really enjoyed too, whether it's taking pictures or shooting video, it's just been really sharp. It's noticeably sharper. Another feature, it comes with the stabilization built into the lens. So you can cut the stabilization on on the lens or cut it off on the lens. And I think that may be a little bit better than having it in camera. I'm not too sure about that. Don't uh, hold me to that, but I think that being able to cut stabilization on the lens makes it a little bit better than using the in body on like the R5 and the R6 because you know they got the wobble baby wobble, you know what I'm saying? And you do not want wobble. So uh, having the in body built into the lens is kind of cool, just being able to cut it on and off right there. That was pretty cool. I've used it a couple times while I was filming stuff and I think that it was helping out with getting good shots. I think for me, the biggest best part about this lens is that it goes down to a 1.8 aperture. I like to have a shallow depth of field. I like that blower, uh, bl blowy. <laughs> I like that blurry background, that good, nice, creamy bokeh, and this lens just kills it. As you can see right now, these lights back there, everything back there is blurred out and it's focused on me really nice and sharp. I love the 1.8 aspect to this lens and it remaining small and lightweight. So small, lightweight, 1.8 aperture and macro and stabilization. It's incredible. This lens has been incredible to me. There's only one thing that I don't like about this lens and that is sometimes the focus can be weird. So it being a macro, the focus can be a really long pull and it can get like really weird as you can see right here it takes a long time for it to focus in on me I have to come in and then back back out and then it starts to focus in on me and I just I, I've noticed that a couple times while I was shooting it was hard to pull the focus but the easy fix for that is just basically tapping onto the focus um, the shutter and it'll try to pull back a little bit faster but that is something that I did notice while shooting sometimes the focus would not catch and it would take a long time to go sometimes I'd even have to manually do it on the lens but I don't think that's the biggest deal, especially for the price, for all the quality, and all the features that come on the lens. I really like it. So that's it. I just wanted to kind of talk about this lens and definitely shed light on it for some people that may not know about it or may not realize how good it is. If you are shooting with a Canon mirrorless body, R5, R6, RP, R, any of those, a C70, this could be a really good lens for you. I think that it's really cool to have a lightweight lens at a 1.8 aperture and have the macro and stabilization all built into this lens. This is one of the slept on lenses, I believe. It's one of those lenses that you don't really hear too much about, but it's really, really good. So if you like what you see and you like some of those specs, make sure you click the link down below to go check it out. I'm not saying you gotta buy it, cause you don't, but it's definitely worth checking out. If you do end up going to check this lens out and you end up buying it, make sure you use my link down below because I will get a small percentage off of it if you purchase it. And I would appreciate that for the channel's sake. If you haven't already, make sure that you go slap the like button, drop me a comment, let me know what you think about this lens and um, if you've used it, how did you feel about it? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Wow.